Welcome back to Everything Whiskey, I'm Callum. And I'm Sam. And today we're reviewing The Yardmore. Alrighty, so today we're doing The Yardmore. I, uh, I know very little about this whiskey, this distillery. I haven't seen anything else they've done. I don't know if they have done anything else even. Uh, but this one was another one we've recently been going back and checking out our old stock to see what we think of them now a few years down the line this is one of those um i still don't know what i think of this one it's um it's 40 percent it's a highland single malt scotch um it's 80 percent unpeated ma- uh, malt and 20 percent light uh, peated malt so it's mm. lightly peated whiskey um up front i'm getting a decent amount of peat nothing particularly overwhelming it's you know mild it's moderate i'd say moderate peat on the nose it's very strange isn't it this whiskey it's a bit weird yeah and, um as you said you get that little bit of peat little bit of brine but then it's like really somehow overridden by really sweet honey flavors and like vanilla it's yeah. i don't know how they've managed it normally the peat kind of takes over and then that's the like the centerpiece of it i can't decide whether it's sweet or savory yeah yeah I don't, it's weird as it's weird it's like playing both sides but not very well <laughs> it's a very um middle middle of the road whiskey apparently you'll read the reviews before and there's either people that love it and there's people yeah. that hate it there's no one that sits on the a middle lot, there's a lot of negative comments uh particularly pertaining to the uh amount of smoke coming from this mm. so I think that more tends towards, uh, I think it says more about where those drinkers are in their like level of how much peat they accept in general, not just this whiskey. Yeah. So I think they're probably people who not, are not uh, Isla people or anything like that. So for us, we love Isla. Uh, we can handle big smoke. So this is quite light, moderate maybe, and on just on the nose. Uh, anyone that likes Isla will not find this particularly peaty and probably not very interesting. Um, but newcomers who are really, you know, lowland space-eyed people, this might be a bit too much for you and you probably won't like it. Might have me the uh, stepping stone to Isla if you're into yeah, those. Yeah. Like, you might go the Ardmore before. I know, like, Lafroig or Ardbeg yeah. or something similar to those. It might go, like, Highland Park 12 and then the Ardmore and then... But yeah. It's hard because, like, Highland Park and... I'd put Ardmore before Highland, to be honest, yeah. <laughs> they, well, they're two... They're completely different levels. Like, Eric, the Highland Park 12 is just a fantastic 12-year-old single mob. Yeah, it sure is. It's not bad. I don't dislike this. This is not a bad whiskey, but it is a strange one. It doesn't really... It doesn't hit the spot for me. It's... I don't know. It misses its mark for me, but I don't dislike it. It fills that space of like a stepping stone as we said before mm. but it doesn't really serve that much point or purpose after that like i mean there's no nuances between i there's like it doesn't specify in isla or that's what else. i was gonna say it also kind of falls short even being a stepping stone because it's not like super enjoyable it like it <laughs> gets like, it just, yeah. just because it's lightly peated that and that's a good stepping stone it still needs to be good to be a good stepping stone because it... people will taste the peat. If it's a bad whiskey with peat, they'll put it down to the peat and not the whiskey and mm. step away from Isla. So it's got to be a good stepping stone. I'm not I'm not really sure this is it because it's got some weird notes which will turn people away. It smells like it's confused. It doesn't know where it really wants to be, if that makes any sense. No, it's confused as we are. Uh, <laughs> like, it doesn't know if it's a straight Highland or a, like trying to be an Isla. It's just there. I see you're tasting it. <laughs> but, um, talk. Yeah, it it just seems very confusing to both the drinker and the whiskey itself. Like I don't I don't know what they're trying to achieve with this. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll jump into the taste and we'll give some notes, I guess. It's uh it's a bit grassy. The peat is still there. Uh, that ashiness, that um that tart kind of bitter oakiness. There's grassiness. There's uh there's that pretty relaxed sweetness throughout um and maybe some weird citrus oil kind of thing going on mm. but, um i agree with all of that it's also like um it's like a really watered down lafroig if that makes any yeah. sense that like, there's like you get those briny notes you get classic lafroig but it's really watered down 
and it's kind of like they put all their eggs in every basket rather than trying to make it rather than evenly putting them yeah. in the ones to create a good it tastes like it's trying to be like a la freak like kind of isla la freak kind of version yeah but then bit. they haven't gone all in with it they've gone we'll go yeah. that way and then we'll go to highland as well just to make sure and it's just it gets confused and lost i don't know how to explain it it's it's like they're trying to be really friendly but also mm. really challenging at the same time and it's yeah, just that's kind it, of yeah. not particularly enjoyable uh yeah, it's, I think it's struggling to really qualify both sides of that coin, so... Yeah, um, I'm kind of like how you are, Sam. I just... I enjoy it for what it is, but it's nothing all that special to people that enjoy Islas. Um, I can see how it's... how people that aren't into Islas really enjoy this, and hopefully it gets them into, like, an art, like, I big region, like an actual... Mm. I, I don't know where it is. I don't want to say actual Isla, but you know what I mean. Like it's yeah. Well, it's, this it's, isn't an Isla. Yeah. I, yeah, I know what you mean. It's like, I, no, I totally agree with what you're saying. It's like if you're gonna go for the friendly no, uh, route, you'll go just to a different, you know, Highland. You'll go to a Highland mm. Park or something else. And if you want to go the smoky route, you'll go to an Ardbeg or a Lafroy or something. You're not gonna go for this. Yeah, it doesn't satisfy either of those. You know, two kind of like flavor lines. It misses the mark for me, unfortunately. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Everything Whiskey. We hope you liked it. Uh, let us know what you think of the Ardmore. It missed its mark for us, but we reckon it does have a place in the market. So let us know what you thought if you've had it before. Anyway, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.